Alrighty, let me make sure that it's all running. Let's see. Okay, that's all good there. Perfect. Alright, we are live. Let's just chill for a minute, and then we'll get going. It's always weird whenever I have to pull off the headset to see stuff. It just looks so weird. I'm glad the mouth is actually kind of lining up a bit. Okay. Hello, Nintendo Freak. How's it going? How's your day been? What an interesting avatar. It will make sense later, hopefully. We'll see if it does, but we'll see. Hello, Pioneer Robot. How's it going? Yes, but with the game we are playing, it should make sense later. In theory, anyway. Okay. Um. There's all that. Let me try something real quick. Good, how about me? I'm doing all right. Okay, where is... Let me... Hold on a second. Let me refresh chat on live because it's not working for some reason. Let's see here. Look a little... Look like a nerdy Kid Icarus hat. Perfect. Hold on. Okay, where is it? Um, I have to refresh the chat because for some reason it's, yeah. <laughs> chat for some reason is just not loading correctly on live. So I have to refresh it all and stuff. Kind of frustrating. Okay, then let me pull this open. So then there. Hold on. Nope. You don't need to see that. Okay, why are you? What is live? Uh, live? I have left the cabin. I have. Live is the avatar software and the chat software that I use. Your dog is molting their hair ever a rip. Okay, is this the one that I want? I think this is the one that I want. Is it? Hold on, I popped up for a second. Yep. Whenever pets get their... Oh, there I am. I'm back. Whenever pets get their summer coat versus their winter coat, so much hair. Okay, then... Yeah, where is it? Hopefully... Yes. Okay, chat is completely gone. I had this all set up and then it just decided to stop working. Right when I decide to start too. Love it when that happens. Okay. Let me relaunch it real quick. Um, yes. Let's see here. There's a thing where people collect dog hair and spin it into yarn and knit with it. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I've heard it makes really nice sweaters, but it's kind of weird. Just a little. Um, oh, I'm changing size a little bit. I want to move that down there. Okay, now can I see you guys? Um, okay, hold on. Of course, it decided to break right. You still have questions? Uh, what's your question? 
Let's see. Position. Under left hand. Apply. Okay, let me move the chat thing. You guys can't see any of this, but I can. Okay. Let's put it right about there, and then... There. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. About my avatar? All should be revealed soon. Okay, Liv isn't wise. Let me, okay, I think I know what I have to do. Sir, here we go, Twitch. Log in. Authorize. There. So now I should be able to see you guys. Okay, yeah, okay. That's all good. I think. Let me test it real quick just to make sure, and then we'll get going. Almost done. Okay, good. I can see chat. Perfect. Like a magician behind the scenes. You guys can't see this, but I can. Yes. All right. Let me launch the game here, so that way it covers up my desktop, so you guys don't see anything you're not supposed to. Then I shall get going. Hopefully you guys like this game. I like it a lot. Alright, let's boot on over to the desktop. And let me edit chat position just a wee bit before we start. <laughs> top secret stuff, yes. Very top secret. Alright. We got two different songs conflicting here. Alright, you need to stop. Almost. I'm like trying to, I, don't, I think you guys can see it. I'm like trying to adjust the chat right here. Actually, I don't think you can see it. Okay. And here we go. So this is Journey of the Gods. It is the first real VR game I ever bought, and I fell in love with it immediately. It is very aesthetically pleasing. It is fun gameplay too, kind of simple. So yeah, this is why I have the wings on, because we're playing Journey of the Gods. It's in the name. Let's get going. One last thing I need to do. I need to lower my volume a little bit so I don't blow out my ears doing this. Alright, a little bit of story intro here. A millennium of peace and prosperity has passed since the last coming of the darkness. That's bad. That right Most there. have forgotten the time when the moon tried to swallow the sun. But the holy man remembered a hero must rise against the chosen of the void. Nice. Yes, it is such an aesthetically pleasing game. Chaos will reign under everlasting night. Oh, jeez. If you can't tell, that's the bad guy. Called an eclipse? Yeah. They don't, like, apparently they don't know the word of, for Eclipse. Is in your hands. So let the spirits of the air aid your ascent to victory. For you are the champion eternal. Oh boy. Alright. Let me lower the volume a little bit. Well, no, it's in a good spot. Let me lower my volume again. It's a lot louder than I thought it would be. There. Yeah, they don't know the word for clips, apparently. 
So now it should boot us to the tutorial. There it goes. Um, let me edit my settings real quick. Where's my settings button? There it is. Since I'm not playing this on the actual whatever Oculus system you're supposed to, it's uh, a little bit harder. Okay, fast, no snap turning, perfect. So it's kind of like Skyrim. It's all basically contact whatever. I don't know what you call it exactly, but... Like, it just registers hit detection whether or not the sword cross paths with the enemy. So you can just spam your swinging sword a lot and win. And you also get a crossbow, too. There's been a few times I've played this game through, though, where I just played with the crossbow only. It's so satisfying. Okay. There's that. All right, so yeah, they're just teaching us in the tutorial right now. All the purple crystals hold belief. Belief is our health bar, essentially. So pretty simple. And let's keep... I haven't actually played this game on the Valve Index yet. So interested to see how it does. Okay, and there also are power-ups we can find throughout the world. These little pod or whatever things on the ground. Okay, I got a hair on my nose piece. Dang it. Alright. Let's walk right into this. Yeah, you can use the power-ups to break stuff. And we are about to meet the first special birdie that gives us a feather. <laughs> George here, yep. For, yeah, it probably was. George just loves sitting on my lap and being in my stuff. He's a good boy, but he's kind of, kind of, kind of needy. All right. So the birdie is going to give us a special gift here. A feather for our bracelet. Don't worry, it just works. Okay. So yes, using the special feather, you can make trees grow and shrink. A totally useful power. Don't worry about it. Alright. Almost done with the tutorial. Yep. They're teaching you that you can shrink them too. Perfect. There's our little guy right there. You can still see him. Still be here to not be messing as much as normal. Alrighty. Here to collect all the channel points. <laughs> okay. First mission of the game. Let's go. Wish my guy... I think my guy... I'm supposed to be able to move faster. I don't know why he's moving so slow. Unless it thinks I'm crouching. It might think... Let me recalibrate my height real quick. Um, Where is that? Recalibrate. There. See if that may... There we go. Now we're moving. Now we're grooving. Yeah, and we also get special special bolts that we can shoot. Like this guy pierces. There's also power-ups we can get throughout the world that we have to keep an eye out for. That lets us upgrade and improve our sword, shield, and crossbow. Like this guy right here. Get a sword fragment. So we upgrade our sword. First one makes it longer. Next one makes it actually shoot out laser beams like Link. Okay, let's get going. Like I said, though, this game looks so stunning. It looks like a mystical land or whatever. And just cartoony enough to make it all work. Okay. I don't think I actually need any of this stuff I'm collecting. There we go. Game is a little easy at the beginning. That's okay, though. 
So let's keep on the truck. And we were supposed to save a farmer was what the wise man, old man, whatever he's called, told us at the beginning. Okay. Break all that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't actually think I need all the belief or whatever I'm collecting. I do want the egg, though. Found a magic egg. Take it to the bird keeper to hatch it. I have to do that when we get back to our in-between stages. All right. There's that. Yeah, we're... F well, we still got room for... Still got room for the magic orbs. Where... Let's see. Okay, they spawned in. Let's see if we can make this shot. Eh, a little bit low, but it counts anyway. I'll take it. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Why? Okay. <laughs> what? Game? Hello? Um, hold on. As you can imagine, trying to convert this over to... What a, trying to convert this over to Steam may not work as well. Wise man, old man, wise old man. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. Wait, do I have to restart? Oh, I don't want to restart. Maybe I have to. Let me go back to the main menu. I got stuck in a rock, apparently. I love it when that happens. That should put put us back to the beginning of the level, though, so we don't have... Oh, okay, I'm right here. Okay, good. Just puts us at the whatever respawn point we were at. Note to self, don't walk into rocks. You get stuck easily. Okay. Let's grab the egg. And grab our belief. See if we can make... Ah, I lost all my power. That's okay. A little bit high. Dang it. Not the marksman I thought it was. Okay, where are they? So one should spawn right about here. There he is. Dang it. Come on. There we go. Missed that shot. Dang it. Come on. There he is. Okay, there's one way down there. What do you think the odds are we're going to hit him? Okay, I need one more shot to get him. Yeah, he's moving now. Come on. Shoot. I want to get him before he gets to me. It's kind of like a fun mini game trying to hit him from afar. There we go. We got him. Nope, I don't want to power up. Okay, let's go grab our shield. Get a shield fragment. Take these to the blacksmith to get your shield upgraded. And the guy over here also dropped a thingy that we have to go collect. Come here. Come here. There we go. Found a moon beast part. So we use the actual enemy's parts or whatever to upgrade ourselves. It just works. Okay. And let's keep trucking over here. Should be getting to the farm pretty. No, we have, I think, one more section to go. We got some zippy guys here. Where are they? I'll play this game a bit. There they are. Come on. There you go. First time trying to fight those guys, I like had no idea what I was doing. It's like, why are they moving so fast? Why can't I hit them? Okay, we got two shard upgrades or whatever. They don't actually stack. I wish they did, but sadly they do not. Feel that buzzing in your grip? I'm sure you guys do. You got to feel for the buzzing. Okay, we can make the shot. I can make this. E Easy. Come on. What? There it is. See? First try. Called it. Yeah, he's moving now. Okay, we got a headshot on him. That stuns him for a second. 
It's kind of cool that I don't think it was more like an indie game that this was. It's not like a big development team or whatever, but it's kind of cool that they also programmed in headshots and weak points and stuff. Nice touches. Yeah, we get a nice evening golden hour sun sky here. Okay. Ah, oh boy. We got some people. Come on. Gotta go save the family, apparently. There's that. There we go. Yes. Easy. Easy. Okay. So now we got to go help the farmer with his field. The giant crystal rock formation right there. Stopping the water up. How rude. Okay. Sadly, you cannot jump in this game. I wish you could, but I can understand why. Because it makes puzzles a lot easier to make. Because otherwise you could just jump right over top of them sometimes. Okay, checkpoint. Have yet to actually die. I mean, this part's... This is actually kind of an easy section here. Come on. And there he is. Ah, shoot. Okay, long shot. We got this. First shot. Oh, we actually got him. Okay, dang it, he moved that one time. You're not allowed to move. How dare you? Okay, I need the whatever power up right there. The golem? I forget what exactly what it's called. There's that, I think. Okay, I think that's everybody. Nope, there's one more person. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, let's go water the fields. See, it's just like, whatever, Terraria, Stardew Valley, or whatever, you gotta, gotta farm. Man, I wish crops would grow that fast. It would make so many people's lives so much easier. Just spring right up. Okay, I want the sword upgrade. Come here. There we go. And, let's see if we can long shot these. Come on, we got this. We got this. Maybe. No. Maybe not. I'll give it another three shots. Okay, he's almost gone. He is gone. We'll just get closer for this. These guys don't pose much of a threat. I mean, it's all been easy up until this point, right? There we go. That sounds bad. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's tall. Oh, boy. Nope, crap. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, uh, get some cover here. Shoot. There we go. All right, he's breaking down that tree. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Come on. Ah, shoot, that hurt. All right. Yes, I need, I need health. I don't know where my health bar is. They said it's on my wrist before, but I don't know. I don't see it. Because that's my faith or whatever. Belief, whatever they call it. Oh, jeez. Okay, where are you going, bud? Start off immediately with a boss battle. That's the way you do it. Okay, we'll let him shoot. Then we'll come in. I'm going to pay for that. I'm still alive, though. I think he has got, like, one or two more tentacles left. We got this. We got this. Okay, let's chill here, see where they are. Three left. It's a bit more than I would want. 
Oh, ouch. Why? Oh, shoot, I gotta shoot his eyeballs. I forgot about that. Ah, dang it. Lost one of my stocks. Okay, long shot. Nope. Yeah, that's really not a good way to make this shot. It's way too far. Nope, we got it. Come on. Come on. I can't die too many more times. I don't I only have four lives starting out, I think. Okay, one more eyeball. Come here, bud. Come on. Ah, it's a little. Come on. There it is. <laughs> Ooh. How many lives do I get? Four. Yeah. Doink. They saved him and all the family members, too. We didn't lose any of them. It's kind of fun. I think... I don't know if you're supposed to have a crossbow in the cutscene, but it's just kind of fun to <laughs> shoot at people. It doesn't do anything. Ah, so... Born again, and so is the Black Moon, I see. You must be here to stop it. You are the Chosen One. Chosimba One. Hmm, smaller than I expected. Naked, too. Goodness me, where are your feathers? So obviously you're no god then. No worry. Yeah, we can make one. We get the feather. Can I gain more lives? Yes. That's why I am collecting monster parts. Okay. We now have the ability of Thor. <laughs> we can now strike down our enemies with lightning. Yes. Alright, so yep, we can step into the portal. There's one last thing I need to collect here. So we got a sword upgrade, we got shield upgrade, we got the egg. There is now a pig duck chicken thing. I forget what exactly they're called. Come here. Come here. There we go. A duck pig. Take the farmer, increase on my belief. So we gotta go visit the farmer. Wait, I have feathers on the wings on my back. I do got feathers, apparently. But the game doesn't see I got feathers. Game's buggy, needs updated. Alright. Let's go back to our base. Yeah, it's it's kind of a chill game. It's not terribly difficult until the last level, but it is fun. Okay, old man's gonna show us around a little bit. This is our home world. So you can kind of think of it like the hub world from older style games. You can upgrade stuff see levels and stuff. You cannot go back and replay levels. I wish you could. But sadly, you cannot. Alright, so we gotta go drop off the egg, which is over this way. Does it get harder? Uh, it. The last level is hard. There is, I think, seven or eight total levels. We just completed one of them. Like Risk Rain 2? Um, not quite like Risk Rain 2. It's not based on time. It's just each level you get progressively harder and more enemies. Until the last level, which there's a big twist. Okay. So here we go. Let's go hatch our egg. Everything else we don't have enough to actually do. Alright, take your egg. Do the thing. Get me the stuffs. We hatched a little blue birdie. Bird will bring you an item at the start of each mission. Is it a short game? Um, you can beat it in a couple hours pretty easily. It's not terribly long. If you go for upgrades and stuff, then it can be longer. But it's not very long. But it's also only, I think, like 10 bucks or something. So it's not terribly expensive either. Yeah, he needs two. She needs... He's got two, needs one more. She needs two more. The... Duck pig, I think, needs, what is it, two more, I think? And crossbow needs three. We can upgrade our crossbow. We haven't found that yet. Took a, oh, I missed the goal. Rip. Okay, we'll go. Oh, teleporters. Yes, I know about teleporters. I've already taken them, game. Okay. So when we're ready to continue your journey, take the staff from the to the center of the temple. So we just pick this guy up. And drop it off right there. And that opens up the portal to the next world. Make sure to speak loudly at home so Google Nest can always hear. Yep. Okay. 
The key will open the door to the next adventure. So this is the guy we give monster parts to. So yeah, we have four candles now. We can have a total of six lives. But we need more monster parts, so we're going to go collect some more in the world too. This time, I believe it's a swamp world. Let me grab a drink real quick. All right, there's another sword fragment. That should be, I think that's enough to upgrade our sword now. I hope so. Okay, we get that. And I know, okay, we got the duck pig around here. Duck pig is right there. We'll go grab a duck pig. I think there's something over there too. Come here. Duck pig acquired. No, there's nothing there. Thought there was, but I think that's later. Okay, where are you? So yeah, now they're starting to increase the amount of enemies, not necessarily harder ones. They start introducing like one harder type of enemy now. Come on, come on. Okay, I need, I need all these orbs. Give me the orbs. Okay. So yeah, this guy, the new type of enemy. He's got a shell around him that we have to watch out for. Because we cannot shoot him through the shell. There we go. Takes three hits, but you have to wait for your opening, which makes things harder. Where you're watching Hold an Invisible Thing, tilting your head back. Hear a swallow, but there's nothing there. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking water when you don't see the water is weird. Okay, uh, there's our sword fragment. This is what I was talking about. Okay. Let's bring all that down because we got a shield fragment up here now. I need to upgrade my shield. Apologize for any car noise you might hear in the background. I have my window open, so my room doesn't get unbearably hot. Okay, a little wormy. Ah, I missed the wormy. Wormy down. Let's see if we can grab all the orbs there. Grab all that. Oh. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. So I shall mention it and forgot to mention it at the beginning, so I shall mention it now. This coming Wednesday stream on Twitch, I will be doing a woodworking stream. So, I got a violin to work on and a banjo, too. I got a banjo I got to fix up. Well, not fix up. I'm actually building it. So, keep your eyes peeled for that if you are interested and want to see how instruments are built. What goes on inside of that? Okay, I think I've looted all this area. We're going to move on. I don't have enough belief yet. I need more. Oh, we got a crossbow upgrade. Yes. The piercing shot. I think... Don't know if it actually pierces or if it just does more damage. Oh, good. We got this one now. The moon ammo. This makes my shots home in on enemies. That is actually really handy if you don't trust your aim. I, however, never miss any of my shots. So I, of course, do not need it. Okay, there he is. Wait for him to open. JK, it is actually really nice to have the moon ammo or whatever. That way you don't have to aim. You can just kind of aim in the general direction. Woodworking stream, instrument building. Yep. Oh, crap. Where are you? Oh, no, no. There's him down. Come on. There. Come here. Yep. Building instruments, working on a banjo, a fiddle first, actually. We're going to be, I'm going to be working on the bass bar of a fiddle first. And also a, we have a long neck banjo I'm building that I got to work on the pot. I love the purple touch in the game. Yeah, it is. It is. They like really put time and effort into the aesthetics of this game. It looks so good. 
I just wish it were longer. <laughs> oh well, nice. Okay, found a crossbow upgrade. There's that. Okay, my feather is full. And, oh, I got a George on my lap. You guys can't see him, but I can feel him. Okay. This is where we're supposed to go next. Let's do this. Not miss our shot. Not miss our shot. Not miss our shot. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Hello, Georgie. Yep. Okay, so we need... Oh, red crystal can be destroyed using stone golem or lightning. Thank you, game. I was about to transform to do just that. Oh, sorry, bud. Sorry about that. He's like, George is like sitting up on my lap, so trying to do the lightning thing, I accidentally bonked him in the head. Okay, we got fully upgraded moon ammo, so I don't need the crystal, which was over there. And this is where the... Oh, hi there. You can also just get right underneath and just swing a bunch and win. So yeah, Wednesday is going to be... Yep, accidentally bonked him. Wednesday is going to be woodworking, and eventually I'm going to also play the Under Presents. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Let's take care of you. Ah, crap, I missed that. Dang it, I forgot that was there. No, I can't get off. I guess I could die, but... Eh. It's kind of cheap. Okay, give me all the give me all the orbs. Okay, long shot. Ah, just over top. Come on, there. Okay, headshot on him. I missed him. I missed that. Ouch. They do shoot at you, so you got to be careful of them. <laughs> George is cute. He is a good boy. Dang it. Yeah, shoot, and that already triggered, so yeah, we missed that sword upgrade. Thankfully, they make sure if you miss an upgrade or two that you have enough later. Like, I think there's a couple spots the sword upgrades can spawn, so that way you, even if you miss one spot, you'll still have enough. Okay. There's all that. I'm just about full on belief, so I'm not too worried about that. But let's keep on a trucking. So we got to go eventually out through that big old dark hole. Looks welcoming enough. And we also don't want to fall in the swamp. And I got another cat here on my nose. Okay, oh, there. Another new guy introduced. Okay. Let's keep my distance from him. He does hurt a lot. And let's truck around behind. Got to shoot all of his glowing weak points. There we go. So there is, I think, the duck pig. There's another duck pig in this area, I think. Or a shield upgrade. I forget which it is. There's him down. Oh, where were you? Where'd you come from? Where did what what are you doing? Okay. Let's keep on going. Yeah, I think that yeah, there's an upgrade right there that I want to get to. Ah crap, we got an Oh shoot. Nope. Come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Flail your arms until the thing falls down. Kind of combat. Ouch. These guys are also predictive aiming. They do have predictive aiming, so... Makes my life a little bit harder. Let's grab all those. They don't stack again, so really no point to grabbing all both of them, but, you know, they're there, so might as well. But yeah, just the aesthetics. You really feel like you're in a... Like swamp. It's cartoony enough that when your brain knows it's not real, it still looks good enough to seem real. Come here, duck pig. Come here, duck pig. Come here. Come here. Thank you. So, duck pig number two. That'll give us a full upgrade there. 
And I need to get right there, because that's an upgrade. And there's also... Where'd you come from? What are you, what are you doing? Yeah, there's an upgrade right there and right there. So many little... The nice thing, too, is that they include, like, all the little collectibles you can get along the way. There's enough of them, and they're hidden well enough that it makes you feel like you can replay this game over and over. Because there's you feel like there's something you missed in a corner somewhere that you got to go check out again. So, let's run on over here. Yes, shield upgrade. I won't. I want it. Let's charge my thing. Okay, when are they going to spawn? There they are. It's like walking into this. Definitely. It's like, all right, where are they? He just know they're going to spawn here. Okay. So I need to go. Okay, yeah, over this way and then loop up there. And then that'll take me to the Flappy Bird thing. Do people still play Flappy Bird? Is that is that still a thing? I remember when I was in high school, everybody loved it. And then the I heard a rumor that the dev himself pulled it off the app store because he thought found it too people were too addicted to it. I don't know if that's true or not, but that is what I heard. Okay. I think I still have it on my iPod, actually. iPod Touch. It was like second generation. Before they included a camera on it. Okay. And let's get in close here. There we go. Amazing combat. Okay, I think I got everything. Yeah, I did. Let's get going. See if we can hit the crystal from afar. Come on. No, I'm out of shots. Long shot. Long shot. Long shot. First try. Got a nice scenic little thing here. It is nice too that they like they also made sure that the VR never made you sick. That like flying on this, even though it's kind of a lot, like flying through the air like this. It's done slow enough that it's not awful. <laughs> I just like this game a lot. It's very chill. Oh, this place looks appealing. I build your summer mansion right up there. Get a nice view of the sky. Wouldn't have any grass to mow, so that'd be nice. Okay, there goes Birdie. I think there is one shield upgrade we can get here as well. Yep, no crossbow right there. I want the crossbow. I want it. Crossbow. I don't think there's any others here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's do the golem. What's really nice touch, too, is whenever you get your golem power up or whatever, all the enemies start running from you. It's like a nice touch that actually doesn't make them feel like idiots. Like this guy here, he's just trying to book it away from you. <laughs> Silly guy. Where do you think you're going? Okay. Just got regular crossbow shots here. Okay, I think there's a tower guy around here somewhere too. Where I hear some people. Don't see anybody coming from behind. There's, oh, there's Tower Guy. Found him. Okay, let's get the. Let's get powered up again. And I don't think I'm going to reach him. Dang it. He went too far. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, should lose this so we get the floaty guy here soon. There. Okay, where'd he go? There he is. I seize him. I saint him. Yeah, he's got to get closer. Wait for him to open up. Come here, bud. There we go. 
Okay. Let's go open up this one. We get another feather. And then we move on. <laughs> Alright. I'll skip the dialogue. Tell you that we're the chosen one. Something for us. We get another feather. Which one? I think this one's slowing. Yeah, slow the world. Which is really handy for taking out fast enemies or whatnot. Not very long. Was not going to save itself. Alright. Where am I? But yeah, otherwise you couldn't get in that. Okay, let me just double check. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think I am. Okay, let's go. And there. There we go. Come on. World 2 down. So, yeah, I think six more or something. <laughs> Time to take an invisible drink. All right, so yeah, we get all of the pop-ups here of everybody saying that we can do stuff. Crossbow Lady's over there. We'll see her soon enough. But let's go do Duck Pig first. Oh, yeah, and the old man, too. Let's go get a new life, too. I like how the old man has a duck pig on his back. It just waddles around with it everywhere. It never does anything. It's just a nice touch. Okay, so we get a new candle. I now have five lives. I can get a total of one more. Okay. Actually, there we go. Let's get life number six here. And dip your candle. I gotta say, this game... Feels a lot like the original Spyros did. Like, it's got the same kind of aesthetic. Kind of tribalistic, kind of, like, I don't know, mystical in some way. It really feels like the original Spyro games. I played those a lot on the OG PlayStation. We could do that for some streams, too. Okay. Let's go drop off our duck pigs. <laughs> Just stack them one on top of the other. There you go. So then she takes my feather. And we can get more belief. Aw, oh, yeah. That means we can do more actions. We can grow more trees. My feather can now hold more belief. Just what I always wanted. Okay, let's walk on through here. And you guys will see the entrance to the last level. Right there is the last level. Hopefully we'll get to it today. I don't know if we will. Okay, let's keep on uh, trucking. Let's go power up my sword. We'll power up the shield. We'll drop off the other egg. Here, take your stuff. Dang it. Okay, let me double check something real quick. Oh, and it zoned out for a second. Okay, there we go. Let's resume. Come on. I said resume. Do I have to click on the game? I might have to click on the game. Game? Hello? Uh, nothing's working. Huh. Oh, there we go. I got it. Bigger sword, yes. I can now hit farther away. I like how they have you do, like, the tutorial here. It's like, you now hit higher. And they put these crystals almost, like, 
Some of these are just out of, not quite just out of reach. It's not, not really proving my point, but sometimes they are hard to hit. Okay, take your shield stuff. Take it, take it, take it. All right, we get our shield upgraded. We get a bigger shield this time. Oh yeah. And <laughs> quenches it. There we go. We get a wing on our shield now. Just one wing. That's all we get. Turn into a one-winged angel here. There we go. Just the reflection, too, is so good. Come on. All right, so now we get the tutorial to show us that, yes, we do, in fact, have a bigger shield. I don't think you can actually die to these apples. I've tried, but they really don't do any damage. Okay, let's go hatch the egg. Then we'll be off to level three. Okay. I forget what this one does. I think this one is special crossbow ammo. Here, take your egg. Take it. That's a pretty bird. Give... Okay, so yeah. Okay, this one's actually really handy to have. Give us belief when we are in god form. So we can do stuff... Do actions more because that bird lets us stay in the god form longer. Handy to have, especially in one of the levels coming up. Okay. We'll take the shortcut, even though this thing shortcut doesn't take off any time, really. Next level. Level 3. Here we go. You can fire the crossbow multiple times before needing to reload. Nice touch. Is nice rather than having to cock it every time. Okay, so we get the part. Oh, this level. I remember this level. This one's a fun one. This one is a tower defense level. Defend the egg from the moon beasts. So your mission is to keep the egg alive through various rounds of enemies spawning that slowly get harder. Okay, let me take the shortcut here. We can take care of some of these before we actually get up. Before they get too close, if I can actually hit my shots. Now, this is embarrassing. Yes, I need you to hold perfectly still, please. Okay, there's so many. There's so many little wormies here. Okay, there's him down. I am. Thankfully, though, we are keeping them pretty even here because they are worried about me instead of going for the egg. As long as I don't die. Okay, I might have to... Ouch. Okay, this is not going well. This is really not going well. I'm taking... I'm getting out of here. I'm a little hurt. Okay, yeah, we got the sword upgrade there. There's a couple other upgrades we can get on this level. That I shall be sure to grab. I'll be waiting for them, though, in the tunnel area here. So I really don't want to die right now. But yeah, you funnel them all through here. Makes your life so much easier. Okay, come on. Okay, I don't know how that hit, but I'll take it. Okay, there's all thems down. We gotta get back, because the other side's gonna go. There they are. Yes. forget how many rounds there are in total. There's quite a few. You gotta stay at this for a while. And it is also a nice touch. You can hear the speech or creaking or whatever you want to call it. The dialect of the moon beast. Okay. Oh good, we got a we got the got the homing ammo. I want it. Okay. Oh, we also got a big guy there. 
Let's just uh, do this. Do a wee bit of that. Help me out a bit. Um, I'll leave them. I'll wait for them to come through here. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. We'll come on back so I can get the whatever power up and then come at them. Okay. Let's grab this, turn into Gigantic Golem Guy. I don't know what the actual official name of it is. Where are you? Where the K? Okay. Tower Guy's still coming, that's what I wanted. Perfect. And all the little runs just run. And I think... Yeah, I still got the moon ammo, so... See if I can... No, crap, too. Lost the moon ammo. Come on, there we go, yes. Oh, out of... Out of ammo. Come on, reload. Okay. You are waiting, which means the other side better be going soon. Yep, there it is. It's a lot of back and forth. Eventually, they both just start going. Like that. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Okay, tower guy. Come on. There we go. Let's get two down. The more orbs I can take down, the less lightning it takes to kill it. There we go. There's use. Perfect. Okay, we gotta get back to the other side. Stayed on this side a little bit too long. If you go right over here. I do have the golem power ready again. It does have a cooldown, so I can't just use it and reuse it, reuse it, and all that. Have to wait for it to come back. Okay, one more shot. Oh, I missed. I'm missing. I'm so bad. Okay, you get stunned. Okay, he down. Okay, while the while the shell guy's got him, hold, hold up there. Take a couple shots at him. Come on. Ah, crap the bed. There it is. Okay, I gotta get back. Read that side. Yeah, we gotta get over here now. Make sure nobody... Yeah, oh, dang. These guys are getting close. Let's just, let's just go in. Come at me, bro. I'll spam my sword at you. You don't stand a chance. Okay. I don't know which side's closer. I'll go for this one. Okay, yeah, we got little little wormies here. Okay. Yeah. Ah, shoot. They're here. Where are they? Shoot, they're shooting through my boards. How dare you? That's not very nice. Okay, I think that... Okay, that side's spawning some... Are they gonna go? Let's give it a second. Maybe? Possibly? There they are. I, I kind of figured. Okay, I'm gonna go for this side because they have a longer path back there. These guys, especially since they can come around the corner and be right on the wall. I kind of need to worry about them a little bit more. Okay. Come on. There's them. Perfect. Okay, I got to get back to the other side now. It's quite the balancing act. Trying to make sure you don't lose either, don't stay too much on either side, so that way you get, oh boy, like this. 
That's okay. We got our stone golem power. Come here. Come on. Okay, they're down. Yes. See if anybody followed behind them. Uh, two front battle, yes. It's like a tower defense game. Except you can't upgrade anything. You're just trying to survive. Current objective is to survive. Okay. Let me get back into the middle here. I think we're going to have some people coming around the edge here pretty soon. So I want to be ready for them. We should get the golem power up ready by the time they come around the corner. So, yeah, I hear them. Towers. All right, give me all that belief. I need it. And give me the power up, too. Okay, I can't hit the shell guy. Let's get back to the egg. Gotta protect the egg at all costs. And I hear them, they're really close. Like that guy. Was he the only one? Dang. Dude was a front leader there. Okay, we got more moon ammo. Come on. Give me that moon ammo. And do you. Oh, good. Chaining moon ammo together. I love it when you can do that. Okay. Let's get back to the other side because they were going off. And that shoot probably is going to be get dangerous here real soon. Come on. I hear them. It is such a nice touch that you can hear them creaking and groaning the whole way over. So it's like you know that they're there without ever having to actually, like, physically see them. Okay, maybe we can try and long shot the worm there. Ah, just missed him. Dang it. Okay, he's going to go around the corner. My feather's still pretty full. Yeah, we gotta get back. We gotta get back. Oh, it's just a worm. Just two worms. Just three worms. Okay. Worms down. Make sure nobody... Okay, there's a worm right behind him. Let's take you out, grab up all those orbs, and then we'll go check the other side. Sounds like a tower's over there and another shield floater guy. Oh, hi, Worm. Okay. Man. It was very slow at the beginning. Now it's, like, relentless. Okay, let's take out the tower before he gets too close. Grab up all the belief. We'll go check the other side real quick. But, yeah, there's, like, there's a couple different level types, too, which makes this game really fun. It's not just a adventure and explore and stuff. It's like some levels you have to defend stuff, some levels you have to attack stuff. There's a lot of variation. Okay, there's that. Anybody else aside from towers are just going to run away, so let's just double check. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's over there. I hear them. And I think I figured out the creaky ones are the floaters, the shield floaty guys. And the ones that sound like somebody rubbing their hands on a balloon is the tower guys. Okay, sounds like we got a tower over here. There he is, yep. Okay, dang it, the tower guy made it past. So let's just smite them all. Uh, smite them all. And let's go grab up all of that ammo. Okay, that one's still going. Let's get back to the other side. So, where are you? there you are. He was ready for me. Almost out of moon ammo. I like the homing shots. Okay, tower there. He's going to come at us. If we can hit that shot, perfect. Come on, let me let me out. There we go. 
Okay, let's get back to the egg. I think this is the last wave. So this is all the monsters we got left. Glad I came back. Hey, game. It's not who I was aiming at. Okay, so the shell guy is going to stop them. Thankfully, they cannot pass through each other. Come on. There we go. Is all them's down? I think that was it for that side. We just gotta go to the other side. And then we win. Come on. Come on, hit him. There we go. We got a little Wrigley guy. Okay, Wrigley's coming in. I like how the game is like, oh, you won. In reality, there's still another monster. I saw him. The floaty shell guy is still over there. Game's like, no, you did it. And it's like, no, there's still enemies. I don't know if the enemy is going to disappear, though. I'm going to save my ammo for this. Okay, we get new power. Free at last. All right, what feather do you give me? I forget which one this one is. Oh, this one lets me move people. That's right, because him there. Give me that feather. Yep. We can now pick people up and move them. Which is really fun because you can drop people onto teleporters. <laughs> and then they just poof back. Okay, I'm going to go explore a little bit. There's a little bit i got to collect and then we'll be out of here. Okay, so yeah, he's still alive. He's coming for me. <laughs> yeah, this guy was still alive. I don't know what they were talking about. Like, you won or whatnot. It's like, no, I'm pretty sure there's more. Okay, I think there's a golem power-up, but I'm not too worried about that, because I got enough belief for this. We gotta explode some of these crystals and get this crossbow power-up. Uh, where's Fondle when you need him? <laughs> yeah. Should have got Fondle. it would be fun to come back and do some Skyrim VR again. I don't know what to do, though, for it. I don't know what challenges or whatever quests we could try out in it. Okay, I think that's everything on this side. So let's go to the other side and collect our stuff from there. Then we'll get going. Okay, crystal shard I don't need. Try and grab up enough orbs here so that way I can do the lightning again. Alright, I can message again. Ah, welcome back. Okay, I gotta go blow up some crystals before we drop off some sword fragments at a blacksmith. So, let's go right over here. Just cause I can. Just cause I can. Um, let's take you. And go. <laughs> you can just drop people off. Some of the NPCs, I don't think they quite plan for you to move. So, how fun. Yep. It is the definition of fun right there. Look it up in the dictionary. That's it. Yeah, they never quite coded the NPCs to know what to do. Because now she's just standing here on the outside, other side of the portal like, uh, what? Okay, we'll go grab the duck pig. Then we'll get the power-ups. Come here, duck pig. Okay, then uh, swing into this. Yeah, because we got the crossbow power up already there. I think there's some a shield. Okay, shield's there. I think we have to break this though for something. I forget what's hiding here. There's all that. I think that's everything. Yeah, it looks like it. So we got a shield power up. We got a crossbow power up. So we should be able to. I think we'll have enough for the crossbow this time. So we get to shoot. I think seven or five. Five or seven shots. Or six, me. I forget how many. It's been a while since I played this game. And I got a mine like a steel trap. It's rusted in a few places. Okay, let's go back. We'll get back to the hub area. I'll get all the upgrades, and then we'll move on to level four. 
I think level four is an adventure level, and then level five is another big boss battle. Okay, ah, right, we got a, we got a little extra belief here. Let's uh, let's make these guys' lives better. Let's get let's get a party going on this on this teleporter here. Oh, dang it! He comes back through. He refuses to be a part of the party. <laughs> Dude's a spoil sport. Okay, let's grab another drink here. How weird does the avatar look, honestly? If he can just like bend the thing back and do a bunch of stuff with the controller whenever I'm have to take it out of my hands. Okay, so yeah, crossbow, we go visit. Um, Egg Lady, we go visit. Apparently, we don't have enough for a shield or sword yet. So, we'll get that. Let's go upgrade my crossbow. And let's keep on trucking there. There's Duck Pig Lady. Alright, you only have one. I need two more Duck Pigs. There's Crossbow Lady. Right over here, yes. I don't know why she's sharpen. I don't know why she was sharpening a knife with a knife. You do not do that, especially rubbing their edges together. That is very bad. But who knows? Our little pet dragon down here. Yes. Upgraded crossbow. How many? Six shots. Yes, I can now miss more times. There's that. Okay, crossbow's done. We'll go hatch the egg, which I forget. I think this one is, it gives me special ammo at the start of every mission. So yeah, we'll go hatch our egg. I don't know why I said that weird. Okay, we'll just cut through this area. You guys get to see where the final level is again. Uh, we should be able to get to the final level, I think. We're making great progress. Yeah, there's only three more main levels. And then that last one. So yeah, you need one more, you need one more. So we got... We'll find those in the next level. And then that should be fully upgraded on each of those, so we won't need any more sword or shield upgrades. First, we gotta visit the aviary. See if I can do it. You can, if you do it just right, somehow you can get the eggs to just drop to the ground. <laughs> it's kind of fun to do. And, yep, fire birdie. Bring you special crossbow ammo. Called it. Close that. Let's get back into levels. But yeah, there's the dark moon that we're supposed to be stopping. So we gotta stop that. There's the tower that the bad guy is in. We gotta go visit that at some point. Okay. Now we got a nighttime level to go visit. Yeah, there's this one, that one, one more. This last one is actually kind of a long one, and then the final level in that secret area over there was a decently long level. So we got all that going for us. Okay, so we got our special crossbow and our shield upgrade. Or we should have the crossbow ammo somewhere. Fill up the feather. We'll come back to this area so I'm not too worried about looting it completely. And let's go take a boat ride over to the next area. We gotta go save the holy man or whatever his name is. You don't actually learn anybody's name. But yeah, as time goes on, the black moon up there actually does start covering the sun more and more. Because it used to be like way over here. It's a nice touch. Go on our nighttime rowing mission. 
I think something spawns. I don't remember. Okay. Long shot. No. No. There. There's that. Ah, shoot. Oh, well. Didn't need it anyway. Okay, there's thems. Come on. Charge the crossbow. Alright, we're gonna save those guys. They're gonna be make for good targets from quite a distance. So we're going all the way over here. Alright. There we go. Here we go. This is the long shot. Nope. Too far. I pulled it. Okay, I need to go higher. Maybe? Okay, let's try that. That's way too high. There we go. Headshot. Ah, we hit just in the crook of his tail. There we go. Look at that. Skills. Okay, so we got to go through there. Uh, there is an upgrade over here, so I shall... Or I think there usually is. This is one of the areas it can spawn. But since we already got it, we don't have anything here. Let's zap the crystals. I don't think there's anything else hiding in these. Let's just make sure. Gotta make sure to collect all the secrets. Okay, I do need belief again. And thankfully, too, the crossbow upgrades do... Oh, new guy. Crossbow upgrades do give you six shots. They used to give you three, but they fill up however many shots you have. So now I have six homing shots. Oh, there's a duck pig. Come here. Come here, duck pig. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Got all of our lives. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Okay, I want to aim for... Try and take out that guy in the distance. There we go. Because that guy, the light purple enemies, are actually the ones that revive enemies. So you got to be really careful of them, because they can just res resurrect any enemies you're fighting. Okay. There's that guy there. we got to slow down time for this area. Come on. Ah, I missed it. Dang it. Getting that to work is a little finicky. Come on. Okay, I uh, will wait. We'll wait another cycle. Come on. I think I can. I think I can make. Come on. Let me. It didn't. Why are you not letting me out of the form? Game. You and I is about to have some very serious words. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. I don't know where the button is, is the problem. Because it's, I think they, when they transfer over the controls from Oculus to, and we missed it again. If I walk into lava, I'm just going to die. When they transfer over the controls from Oculus to Valve Index, they don't always, like, since Oculus only has one button for the grip, it's like, which finger did they map that to? Come on. There it is. Now we got this. Now we can book it across. Okay, we'll take him out. Gas. And let's get you. So a little guy right here. Ouch. Okay, I think. Yeah, that's a resurrector here. There we go. <laughs> Spam the sword until you win. That's that's a precise way to play this game. 
Let me make sure I didn't miss any power-ups here. Make sure there's nothing hiding. Come on. Nothing hiding anywhere. I think I have everything, really. Other than duck pigs. And eggs. But you get only one egg per level. Here we go. Ah, sword upgrade there. I will grab that. Okay, we'll just grab the checkpoint, and then we'll just wait right over here. But yeah, the nice tinge to the sky, the dark lighting, the moon. It looks so good. There we go. Grab our upgrade there. I think we only have one homing shot, which might be a little bit troublesome. Especially since we have some resurrectors here. And I gotta make sure to take them out first, otherwise they just bring back all the wormies that I'm fighting. Ouch. Thankfully, I don't think the resurrectors can resurrect other resurrectors. Come on. Okay, we'll get all them. And then there should be the guy. Yeah, here he is. Come on. How are you still alive, sir? How are you still alive? I do not allow this. Okay, I don't think there's anything up there, and I don't think there's a way to get up there either. Let me just double check this. Yeah, I don't think there's anything up there. So, let's keep on going. I don't, yeah, nothing over there. I think there's like one little crack that stuff hides in really soon. Ouch. Okay. Where are you? Come here. Ouch. Taking a lot of damage through this. Face tanking enemies may not be the best idea. Note to self. My face is not a weapon or a shield. It's itch a little bit there. I now know if that ever happens again. If it... Pauses out like that. I have to press the thumb button. Okay. Let's break these crystals. I like, too, how the game doesn't really give you hints. I wish sometimes the puzzles were harder, but the game doesn't give you hints as to what you should be doing. Okay. Let's see if we can take him out before he resurrects anyone. There's him. There's him. Ah, where's the worms? There's the worms. I heard you. I think I can hit one or two down here still. Ah, I missed it. Dang it. Trying to go for the enemies down there before the worms got to me. Come on. Okay, the shell guy, let's take care of you. And last shot, I missed it, there we go. There's our last shot. We'll take him down. I think we have a, yeah, the egg's right over here. We gotta go, gotta go grab our egg. Making omelets. Yeah, like the game doesn't remind you that you can move enemies here. It just says you got to get them out of the cage. So I spent a very... The first time I played through this game, I spent a very long time figuring out how I was supposed to get him out of that cage. Sadly, a lot longer than it should have. But I never recorded it, so you guys can't prove it. Okay, let me just double check up here that we don't got nothing. I think there's something over there, but I'm not quite sure. I think, yeah, if you don't have an upgrade at this point, then they put one of the extras here. Okay, we'll go save him. And we'll zap this. There we go. Old man's going to take off running right through the crowd of enemies. 
Old man don't care. Old man got places to go. Old man got things to do. Okay, let's get around to this side of this guy. There we go. Yes. Come on. Come on. Okay, then we'll swing around here so we can get to his backside. Perfect. Skills. So, right over here. I don't think we have anything left to co- Oh, hello there. Okay, come here. Oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't realize the tower was there. <coughs> oh, man. Okay, down to life, we only got five left. So, let's head on back. I like how the old man just braced through all this. He's like, see ya, thanks for rescuing me from the cage. And just books it out of there. Like, I need you still. Or I could at least use an ally. Okay. Perfect. Let's take the easy way out of that. I got the I got the feather for it. <laughs> yeah, the old man he's programmed to not go too far ahead, so he's actually just camping right there, running in place. Waiting for me to catch up. <laughs> As I'm dying because he just left me. Okay, anything up here? I don't think... No, there's a crossbow. I want the crossbow. Do want me the crossbows. And back around. So yeah, now that we rescued the old man... We come back through and bring him back to the village. There. Gotta clear the way for this guy. He's so needy. Ah, yes, but we get another boss here. It's a kind of a mini boss. But he's a fun one. Okay, we'll leave the lava area behind and go back to the village. How these people how these people camp so close to this, I don't know. Uh, old man lost the duck pig on his back too. Maybe it's a different old man. So keep on the trucking and suddenly there's a jewel in the middle of the river. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> Slow to get past. And... Oh, crap. Hi. <laughs> I better book it, old man. Oof. That is the boss we gotta fight. Crystal guy with many eyes. Ah, we can take him. We got this. Okay. Gonna let me off there, old man. Let me out of the boat. Need to wait for the guy to come to dry land. I'm going to hide behind a wall here. Need him to come close. And if I'm too... If he does see me, then he can actually laser me. So I have to make sure he can't see me until he's in the position that I want him to be in. Alright. Cut the leg and hit the weak point. Alright, he's back. Get aside. That thing breaks shields very fast, and then kills you right afterwards. Ask me how I know. Okay, let's see if we can lead it back in onto dry land here. Yeah, there it is. I can see its leg. It's coming. Good, 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 good. Okay. 
Cut the leg. Hit the weak point. Okay, he's going to rebuild in the water. Come on, buddy. Reposition you over here. And let's go for it. Ta-da! Another birdie. A blue birdie this time. Alright, so we get feather number... What is this? Five? That we've collected because we started out with a big one here. Yes. This one lets us rebuild stuff. There we go. And he poofs away. Old man's just running in place. He's 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 trying to go somewhere. He's he's trying something. Whatever it is, he's doing it, I hope. Okay, let's get back into the hub. Let's get our upgrades. Then we'll go into the next level, which is actually a prolonged boss fight. Then the final level of the main ones, and then the actual final level. Okay, so yeah, we got crossbow upgrade, we got blacksmith, we got shield, we got egg. Let's go do that. And I think duck pigs, we only, we only get one per level. I like how the trees are Swiss cheese right there. <laughs> Got big old holes in them. Okay. And down to crossbow. Let's get the supercharged crossbow this time. Pet dragon just sleeping there still. Come on, take your stuff. Take it. Sleepy dragon is sleepy. Crossbow looks exactly the same as our other crossbow, except we get supercharged arrows this time. Hold the grip button and it can now deal even more damage. That's totally what I needed right now. It's more damage. Okay, we'll go visit Blacksmith. Yeah, you need one more. It's only one duck pick per level, so you'll need another one. Uh, let's trek back through the cave here. And I forget what... I think this bird that we get this time from the egg is... We get one free revive, which is very handy. Okay. Back over here, we get the powered up sword. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Sword fragments acquired. Yeah, it would have been funny if they made it just a cartoonishly long sword. You can watch him work over on his forge here. Yes, because that's how blacksmithing works. You don't heat the metal at all. You only set it on top of your forge and then hammer it on the forge. But we can now play Link. We can now shoot and stuff. Still a fun game? Yes. Good game? Yeah, it is. I mean, I wish it had more to it, but it's fun. I do enjoy it. It's fun to come back to every once in a while. Kind of like Undertale. Okay. And get our shield upgraded. We can now have a explosive shield. Attack shield. Go. Hammer it cold, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just uh, hammer metal cold on the forge, not even on an anvil. That's how you blacksmith. Okay, right over here. You know, I should get back into blacksmithing. It was fun to do. Okay, let's go hatch our egg. Yeah, because I know we get one that's one free revive. I forget what the others do. Go on, take your egg. 
Purple birdie, or what is that? Magenta? Magenta birdie? The bird will distract an enemy if I get in trouble. I've never actually seen that work, so I think that one might be a bit bugged. Nothing but bad could happen, hammering cold metal. Oh no, it's not like that could inter introduce stress fractures or, you know, crack the metal itself. Or anything like that. No, just hammer cold metal. Okay, next level. Let's grab the staff here. Drop that in. And let's go. Let's go. I did blacksmithing. I did a little bit. I did some knife making. Um, nothing much, really. I forged a couple knives, but other than that, not tons. Boss fight time. Okay, let me slow time here right at the beginning so I can grab that egg there. Because I want it. Otherwise, I have to grab it on the last level. Come on. Let me, let me out. Game. Thank you. Okay, we'll grab the egg here. There we go. Then we gotta go save her. Perfect. Now let me get back over the thing. Yeah, we gotta save all of these people from the tentacle monster here. Okay. Gotta save them from being eaten. Which is really dark. Okay, perfect. Oh crap, you're right there. Okay, oh we got homing. Yes, even the power, even the different ammo can be charged up. Which is nice. Okay, I think that's all the enemies, perfect. I'll just chill out in the water here. Come on. Where are they? Okay, they're all saved, perfect. They're all in that one. It's not great to have them there, but Eventually, I think I'm just going to move him all to the middle one. So now we got to wait for him to do his attack again. I'm going to split him up a little. And weak point there. Okay, I want all that belief. What do we got? What do we got? Two enemies there. One there. Perfect. Who's left? You're left. Okay, grab all that. Oh, you're there. Hi there. And, ah, shoot, there's still a, still a worm. Okay. Come on, buddy, do your thing. He's gonna... Dang it. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of nice trying to save all the peoples. Come on. Is he gonna flip him again, or is he gonna... No, he's grabbing him, okay. Gonna try and nom one here. Give me your weak point. Now we gotta fight all the enemies. What do we got? A worm there. Okay. The nice thing too, if you let the whatever, if you let the platforms get broken, it actually, whenever an enemy tries to spawn, it'll just kill him. Okay. Once he laughs, then I gotta go back into God form. This one is actually kind of hard. Okay, I'll just camp right here. Looks like everything. Yeah, there's five people in total we gotta save. Alright, it's flipping them again. Okay, she's still alive there, which is good. Uh, we got fire crossbow ammo there. I'm gonna wait because I think I just got moon ammo. And he's gonna try and grab someone. Come on. I'll save you. Come on. Come on, open up. Thank you. Okay, where's the rest of the enemies? Yeah, the more platforms you break away, the 
Better is actually for you. Okay, I'm gonna go grab this moon ammo. Okay, there's that. We'll just lightning them. Screw it. Okay, I need to go grab all that belief, though. I need all my orbs. Okay, he's just gonna grab someone perfect. We don't have to worry about him flipping anybody. Okay, there's that. We gotta get around to his backside here. So I can actually hit it. Come on. Come on, game. There's that. Ouch. Okay, there's a lot of enemies this time. I think I got the belief for this. We'll just lightning them. Plus, we get new belief as we go. As the people wait for us to save them. Okay, is he going to laugh? I think this... There we go. <laughs> Dizzy, yep. This is his last arm, though. Ah, shoot, he's flipping people. No, no, no. We'll save you. Okay, you're still... You still need saving. There. I'm out of belief. Shoot. Come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me. I don't have enough. Don't flip people. Perfect. I got enough for just that. She'll be saved because the water level drops. Come on, give me a belief. Okay, yeah, I think she gets saved because of the water level. I hope. Hope I'm right on this. Come on, touch, touch ground, touch ground. Touch ground. Okay, there we go. I was so worried. What does his laughing do? It just means he's about to attack. So it's just a sign that he's about to do something. Poof. Oh, we got a fancy bird this time. So she gives us the power to control the enemies. Alright, where are you? So yeah, she gives us the ability to change the affection of these guys. Come on. Why are you not working? Oh, is it trigger? What button is it? Hello? Hello? Game? Okay, I see it pressing trigger. Why are you not working? There it goes. There we go. Austere land. Yeah, it is rather austere. Poof. There we go. So, is she gonna run off? I don't need the upgraded ammo. I think there's a duck pig somewhere around here. I don't know where it is. And <laughs> the other part about this is that whenever you're done with the level, they all just freeze and stare at you. Change the affection sounds like Epic Mickey. Yeah, oh man. It's been a long time since I played that game. I like that game a lot. We should do, there's so many games I want to do on stream. Like Epic Mickey and Crash Team Racing the Original and stuff like that. Okay, I don't see a duck pig around here anywhere. But yeah, Epic Mickey. I love that game. It's so good, because it's like all your choices have huge consequences the entire way through, I feel like. Like, to the point of letting you actually, I don't think skip the final boss fight, but like save the final boss and not let him actually get, defeat himself. As is their want. Okay, we got an egg there. We'll go drop off the egg, and then we'll go to the last level. And then we'll go face the final boss. Okay, let's truck on over here. So, yeah, we have no more blacksmith, no more shield upgrades. We do have egg and duck pig still, so we can do those. But yeah, just looking out over the cloud sea is so nice. So cool. 
Black Moon still right on the edge of the sun, though. So we gotta fix that. Take your egg. There we go. We dropped it. Ha! Okay, we got a fire birdie this time. Revive you free once per mission. That's what I was looking for. Uh, was there an Epic Mickey 2? There was, but it was not anywhere near as good. So Epic Mickey 1 was totally built around choice. Like, do you choose to save or defeat enemies? To the point where, like, bosses you could save and then that would affect later stages of the game. Or you could defeat and that would affect later stages of the game. Epic Mickey 2, but at least with the first Epic Mickey, whatever choice you made, you were stuck with. Like, you could not go back and change it. Epic Mickey 2, they let you change it, which was really frustrating. Alright, final level. Second to last level, technically. So, let's get going here. Oh, there's a duck pig. There's duck pig. Come here, duck pig. Duck pig acquired. I think that's all of our duck pigs. Um, why frustrating? Um, well, for Epic Mickey 2, it wasn't frustrating. It was, like... The whole core of Epic Pinky 1 was about you were stuck with your choices, so you had to make the best ones and really get into the game. Whereas with Epic Mickey 2, is like, oh, you decided not to do a choice? Well, here, you can, you can just do it later. Which kind of ruined the entire point of the game. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Do the thing. There we go. No. Dang it. Stop it. Thankfully, whenever we're in the god form here, it lets us not actually die. Okay. So he's going to do that. Uh, yeah. We have no more upgrades, so we just keep on going. Game integrity. Yeah. Kind of thing. It just ruined the entire game, being able to undo anything you wanted. And let's fill up my feather. This one's a fun one. We got to get past the meatballs. Come on. Okay, there goes that meatball. Let's get past this guy and get up the ramp. I don't think you're able to actually get past two sections. I've tried and it's never worked. There we go. Hello, meatball. I think this is the... No, because that guy's already there. Okay. Here we go. Ah, uh, shoot. That one's going to hit that. I think I might be able to squeak around. Good. Okay, so yeah, the meatballs fall down there, so I don't need to worry about that. Doors closed behind me. It had a manual to play the whole game. Yeah, the first game did. I don't know about the second one. But I remember there was like a 300-page manual about every choice you could make. That's what made it so much fun. I actually considered making a video about it a long time ago. But I just... I don't know. It's more of a game you can do live and react to people. Anyway, this bird's going to give us the ability to control fire. I think I still have the manual, actually. We got it. So, yeah. <laughs> we could read from the manual and do everything in that game. Okay. There goes Birdie. Now we get out of this area. We have one more feather to collect in this level. Let's go right over here. Pick up the fire. There we go. We gotta burn down the doors so we can actually get through. Then there's gonna be some people who spawn in, but there's not much we can do about this section. Oh, I want the ammo though. Perfect. Ouch. Not perfect. 
make Epic v- Mickey VR. Ooh, I don't think anybody modded that game, cause it is a Wii game, and I don't know how hard it is to mod Wii games. I know people have done it for Brawl and Melee, or Brawl to Project M, but I have no idea how easy it is. Come on, teleport at me, bro. There we go. But Epic Mickey VR would be so good. Okay, we gotta go this way. Through the passive car address. But yeah, if there was a way to do Epic Mickey VR, I would I would do it. Let's see if I can grab this one. Nope. It's a little too far. Game. There we go. And we'll just, uh, <laughs> gameplay. Just run right underneath them and swing a bunch. We'll break the shield. There we go. Oh, okay, that's what the bird does. I never saw that before. It actually sucked the orb away. Okay, there's that. And come on, game. Game. Doesn't want to let me out of the god form now. I charged my controller, so it shouldn't be that. Okay. We have to make an offering of the fruity kind. This is such a cool section. I never realized what you're supposed to do till after the fact, but... You're supposed to grab the apples. You can grow the... Okay. This is the kind of thing I wish that they had done more of. But you grow the trees, you then zap them to drop the apples. Then you use the apples to break platforms to tell you which ones you can walk on and which ones you can't. Like, that is just a cool, cool concept. Okay, that one's broken... I think I vaguely remember the path I'm supposed to walk anyway, so I'm not terribly worried about getting them all, but... Okay. Yeah, walk over here, right to this guy, right over here. I think it... Yeah, right here, then over. Perfect. Just like that. Almost like I've done it before. There we go. And we get the birdie that lets us control sand. Cool puzzle idea. Yeah, that was. It's like made you th use a lot of powers to get through it. All right, sand birdie. Is this the legendary sand bird I've heard so much about? Okay, last feather. Let's us control dirt piles. And you go poof. And I'm out of here. Back on... Oh, yeah, that's right. Not the main section yet. Come on, hit him. Hit him. There we go. See, I think... Yeah, headshots with the charged ammo will one-shot the worms. Anything else won't. So, right over here. Transform right about here. Ah, just a little too close, too far. I need to grab this dirt pile. Come on. Come on. There we go. So then we use this dirt to get up over to that cliff. This section, too, is like what... It what this game should have been like with so many puzzles. Okay, so then let's get over here because I need this sand pile to build up that one. So now I can make it all the way over here. You have to grab one sand pile to use, let you get to another sand pile. I will put it right there. 
Come on, let me out, let me out. There we go. Okay. Right over here, now we gotta plug up all the waterfalls so that way we can get down to the bottom. Come on, come on game. There's that, and I think there's one more. Right there. Yep. There goes all the water. So now... Ooh, moon ammo. Ouch. Ouch. Stop it. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Let's head back through the cave, get back to the main area, and we shall complete the main area, and then we'll be back to do the final boss battle, which is actually a three-part ordeal. Okay. Oh, something died. I hear stuff spawning, but I don't know where they are. So I'll need some power for this, because... Let's see. Yeah, I need to do that. Let's move this dirt pile to here. Because I need to rebuild the thing in the center so I can use my rebuild power whatever to... To whatever it to get. Progress. Come on. Grab the tree. Thank you. And last one. That's right. It's caught in the... Caught... Shoot. I'm out of, out of juice. There we go. Let's go on. Put the piece there. Now we need one last section, which we have to go through the fire door here. Light the cauldron. Perfect. Let's go grab the little birdie we need to complete the pedestal and get going. But yeah, like, there's not a lot to the art style of this game. Like, it's very, very simplistic. But it works so well. And right on through. So, we gotta go... We gotta clear the lava out of the doorway again. Because it did come back. Okay, we'll set that. Nope. And we'll slow time. Grab you. There we go. Now we have plenty of time to get through here. Plenty of time. Perfecta. Okay. Set that there. I forget. This one's like tricky to do. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Like, sometimes that bird doesn't want to get in its slot. Yes. There goes our blue birdie. Go break the door. Yes. Final level time. Only one upgrade to get, which is the duck pig. And then we shall go face against the... We don't even get a name for her. The evil lady. Okay, he's going to show us where to go. Do I have enough duck pigs? Let me check. Three. Yeah, we do have enough. For some reason, it's just not showing. I think because I'm supposed to follow him. Game's like trying to funnel me towards that. Right over here, there's duck pig lady. Take your duck pig. Take him. Okay. Pop the feather off. We get a bigger feather. That was the final upgrade we needed. Perfect. We are now completely upgraded. Feather can now hold more belief. Okay, let's go collect the old man. And have him open up the doorway for us. 
I think I don't remember if he actually glitches out. He's like a little buggy when he tries to walk here. Oh, there he goes. I like the nice touch too, how the bottom of his beard drags the ground and it's also darker. Road ahead is treacherous. Take care and steel yourself to fight her. You will not you will need to be your strongest with the best weapons to defeat this enemy. Make sure you're prepared before you continue. Once we go through the doorway here, there is no going back. This is it. Okay. Let me grab a drink real quick. So we are at the Dark Tower. We got our little glowing birdie there that was on top of the staff, actually, to guide us. Okay, let's go follow the maze through the darkness. And get to the entrance of the Dark Tower. Hello there. Goodbye there. Let's see, you gotta go this way. Let's see. I've done this done this enough times to remember mostly where I'm supposed to go. Some stuff I'm a little shaky on still. Okay, I think it's this way. No, I don't think it. No, I do go this way. But it's not that way. I remember that. I have to loop around here. And then over here. And then back. Yeah, back and then a little bit forward. There we go. All right, let's go, go, oh crap, just about walked off the edge. Let's go meter after this loading screen. <laughs> oh, look at that giant egg. I'm sure this is totally okay. This was not totally okay. I honestly didn't think it would be that easy. Trapped by greed. Maybe you are a sibling of mine after all. Regardless, I will take that. Don't oh crap. I lost my feathers. Oh jeez. Faster now the dark moon descends. Let's have some fun while we wait. Oh jeez, that's my home right there. They're going to my home. That's not good. You look so horrified. That's fantastic. You know they weren't your kind, right? They had no right to meddle to send you here. Guess only fitting they join them in the afterlife. <laughs> Motion sickness, look away. <laughs> we gotta scale this entire thing. All right, we got two two sentries here. Crap. And I have no feathers. I have no god powers. Okay, let's wait a second for them to stop shooting me. Oh, crap. Here we go. Okay, ouch. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. I'm going to try and focus one and get him down. I don't know if that's a smart idea, but I'm going to go for it. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, he's gonna come up right about there. Try and get in close. Ah. Having them both shoot at me makes this a lot trickier. Okay, he down. My feathers. I need to get my feathers back. I need my magic bracelet. Okay, cut the leg. There we go. <laughs> Sweep the leg. Okay, he pops back into place. We'll take the long route around so that way he doesn't get me. And goodbye. Good goodbye, sir. All right. We got a lot to go. But we got a checkpoint. 
I at least got my crossbow with my charge shot. Ouch. And I have somebody shooting a laser at me. Okay. What, is, what do we got here? Oh, hi. No oh, crossbow ammo. Thank you, birdie. Oh, yeah, and the platforms break. So you gotta be careful of which path you take. Okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, there's you. Yeah, this doesn't escalate quickly, but this is quite escalated from the chilled out green hill zone that we were in at the very beginning. Okay, I think this one breaks. Yes, it does. No, okay, it doesn't. Not fully, anyway. Okay, he's lasering me. He's a fire on his laser. Let's charge that back. Dang it, that one broke. Um, okay, I gotta go up this way. Oh, it's another laser guy. Couple laser guys. Ouch. Wait for you to be done. There we go. Checkpoint. And we got, yeah, a little bit of a fight here. And one of those resurrectors. Two resurrectors, dang it. Gotta get those out of there. Okay. Doink. It is a nice touch that you can hide behind the shield, but not forever. Okay, let's continue onwards. Charge up my shat. Oh, this one. This one's actually kind of tough. This area. Because there's holes in the floor that you can fall through. Ask me how I know. Okay, we'll go Golem for this. Try and take him out. Oh, I caught him on my fist. I didn't know you could do that. There's still so much to go. Okay, let's break through these. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't break through that. I'll just try and break a lot of these guys to get a clean shot through everything. Okay, we're, there we go. There's him down. Perfect. I think we got a little bit more. Oh. Laser messed up. Okay. Resurrector, no. No, you don't. Ah, crap. Got hit. Teleporters. It's hard to find them. There they are. Okay, he's still alive. You, sir, need to not be alive. Thankfully, though, the sword beam, we only have to charge it. Ouch, ouch. Not cool, bro. No, stop, stop. Just stop. I'm dead. Dang it. Died once. And I uh, almost lost my shield there. Okay. We're going to lose my shield to this, but that's okay. Shields are overrated. And he's hiding behind the guy. That's not cool. Come on. Come on. Open up. Open up. There we go. Let's try and lead him around here. No, that's going to break. Dang it. I'm kind of stuck. Shoot, I don't think I can get through him. Um, I might have to die here. Yeah, I can't. Dang it, he won't let me past. He's stuck in the doorway. All right, kill me. Reset me. Thank you. That was just bad. Okay, there he is. And last one. The doorway goes down and we can now progress to the next floor. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't actually make it over there. I need... I think this way takes me out. 
takes me up there. So I think I'm down two lives. Only got four left, which is not tons for this fight. Okay, is this going to break? Nope, okay. Next stage. This one. I like the beginning of this stage. I don't like the end of this stage. Okay. Hello there. Okay. Got a wormy and a laser. I'm going to see if I can snipe the laser guy. Snipe. Not quite. Come on. We got at least a hit off on him. Another hit on him. He down. There we go. Yes. Got a... Especially for this last level here, you got to make sure you don't just l only use one weapon. You got to use them all. Otherwise, you're going to have a much harder time. There's him down. Break. Okay. I heard so Where are you? Oh, it's a laser guy right there. Yeah, spam shots from a crossbow. That's totally how crossbows work. I actually don't know if there would is a recoil-operated crossbow. There might be. Okay, there's another... Okay, you're breaking. Laser guy. I'll just wait for the laser guy to be done. Just let him cool his jets a little bit, and then we'll, then we'll go say hi. And that breaks... Okay, we do have the runner as well. The wolf guy. Come at me, bro. Never mind, he takes care of himself. <laughs> okay, I hear a wormy up above. Not too worried about him. I got the health. Oh, no, that's a laser guy. Worm, laser guy I'm a bit worried about. Wormy, not so much. Okay, there's use perfect. Oh, hi there. Hooray for infinite crossbow ammo. Shoot, I know someone. I know people spawn on the way up. This is the part I die at a lot. Especially because of their predictive aim. I'm on a track, and the wormies can aim so well. Okay, where are they? Where are they? Okay, there's that. Ouch. Dang it. Like that. How many are down to? Three? That's not a lot. Yeah, you have to be on point with the with your shots. Otherwise, they just take you down so fast. Okay, I can't jump that, so we'll go over here. I think I have to break the thing again. I can hear... Maybe I can take out a couple. Maybe I can just get a good angle here. Come on. We can do this. Game. Okay, apparently we can't do that. Ah, oh, crap. Where are they? I saw... Okay, there's one right there. Okay, we'll take him out. Perfect. Maybe we can spot another and take him out before we get up there. Yep, can't level up... Can't go into God form, sadly. And we'll go over here, and then this. Yeah, cracks away on the edge. Then I think this one breaks altogether. Yep. Okay, we got a worm right there. Come on. Where? Where's the spot? Where's the spot? There's got to be a spot. There's got to be a spot. There's the spot. There's the spot. Oh, there's one right here. We can get this guy, too. Ah, 
Perpecta. So let's run over here, get to the other side, we'll get back on the birdie. And then I think there's only one worm left up top. Maybe a laser guy too, but I'm not too worried about laser. He can't really hit me on the bird. The worms do, the laser doesn't. Okay, edge cracks away. This whole place is coming down. Yeah, I can hear him. Okay, there he is. Maybe I can reach him from here. Oh, good. Oh, we got him. Skills. All right, let's go ride our bird off to the next level of the tower. We're almost to the top. Thankfully, nothing respawns here. Okay. Where are they? Okay, there's one right here. And I think he's the last. Perfect. Yep, he looks to be the last. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bird drops us off on solid ground. Get our checkpoint. And next stage. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to remember, because I think if you go up, it's bad. You have to go down first. Go down to go up. That's what they taught me in cars. Hi there. There's you. Come on, give me the ammo. Give me the ammo. Next level. Oh, this one. This one's an all-out fight. Shoot. There's like three towers, two shielded guys. Okay, we'll take you out first. There's a tower there. Come on, hit him, hit him. And I don't have my powers for this. I wish I did. Okay, I gotta stop the Resurrector too. Okay, Resurrector dead. Let's loop him through. I don't remember where his last eyeballs are. Okay, it's right up there. Perfect. He's down. Okay, let's just keep looping him around here. Run around in circles. We can't jump, so we'll have to figure out a thing to do for that. Okay, get a shot off at the shelled guy. He's only got one eyeball left, which we should get when we come around to this side. Shell guy, yep, coming around the door. There we go. Ooh, that got a little tense. And something spawns right here. Okay. I clipped me. How dare you? How dare you? This is it. Time for the boss fight. Let's get my feathers back. Yes, feathers have been returned. Wretched creature, how did you... No matter. You will regret returning here. Prepare to die. Okay. I'm trying to remember exactly what I have to do for this fight. It's like a little complicated. Okay, we'll just hit you. I'll just uh, clock you with the sword. Okay. Let's keep you stunned. Here we go. It's like tactics you use at the beginning can't work in the end. The more you use, the more she learns. Okay, what are you doing? Bringing about some friends. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, get another hit off. She has so much health for this fight. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing, girl? Yep, now she's got a shield. So it's like, now I have to stun her with time slow. Come on, bro. Come at me, bro. Okay, we'll take you out there. Okay, we got a tower. Come on, give me the ammo. There we go. That's going to hurt. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. She's up in the air. 
I guess we'll just take out the guys here. Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Is she gonna charge? No, she's not charging. She's throwing a fireball. Come at me. She's charging. Here she goes. Yes. Gotta have spectacular timing for that. You got fire ammo. First time I picked up fire ammo is in the last fight. Okay, let me close. What are you doing? Fire ammo is nice. It damages enemies over time. Okay, what are you doing? I got hurt, but we took her with us. Good. Okay, you died. You're throwing a fireball. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? And do your thing. Yep, so cool. What are you doing? Resurrecting. Shoot. Okay, where are you? Another fireball. I want the moon ammo. Charging? Yes. Nah, what? Where am I? Where am I? What happened? I shot her and then she didn't get shot. I died. That's fine. I still got health. Still got lives. And charge. Ah, crap. Oh, she hit a wall. Perfect. Oh, she's really hurt. Gotta go. Have a good stream. See ya. Thanks for dropping by. Okay. She's teleporting. And I think if I can line this up right. Ah, I missed it. Dang it. We'll get my sword whatever back. She's stunned. There we go. Deal a little bit of damage there. She charging? What's she doing? Resurrecting. Okay, laser guy is on me. I'm going to wait for him to be done. Come on. Come on. Let me let me out of the form. Okay, there's that. She charging? No, she's fireballing. Okay, come on, do your thing. And fireball. I think now she's gonna charge. There we go. Yes. She gets sucked into the black moon. We gotta go rescue our friends. Let's go back to our home world and see what damage she's done. Game. Oh, oh. That could be a problem. Alright, we gotta go save all the people and bring them to the temple. Okay, let's charge up my feather. Yes. All the feather power. There we go. Okay, let's go this way first. I don't think it much matters. You can go either way. There is a bit of an order. But I found you can go both ways. Oh, hi there. I didn't realize he was there. Okay. So we need... Come on. Need you there. Need you there. And... Where are they? Oh, that's right. You guys are up here. Have fun with that. Okay, I lose out on the special ammo, but that's a, not a problem. We're in the home stretch now. Okay, let me build the tree. Then, what is it? I need to rescue you, and I need to light the fire. There. Way ahead of you there, Mr. Blacksmith. So yeah, he's going to help us get across this gap here. The only way he knows how. By building a huge old sword. Dude's got a double axe from Breath of the Wild. Okay. He's going to carry that over to his forge. We already stoked the fire for him. Toss it in. There we go. Now we got to keep him safe. As enemies spawn. Where are you? I hear them. I don't see them. This bothers me. Oh, hi there. 
Okay, he down. Okay, there's those two. There's you. Come on. I think there's a zippy guy around. Oh, there's a tower. Oh, crap. Stop. Stop. Oh, yeah, there is a zippy guy. Shoot. Where is he? Ah, zippy guy left. Zippy guy is buggy. There he is. Zippy guy is buggy. There we go. Blacksmith is done. Like I said, gets us across the only way he knows how. <laughs> building a massive sword. <laughs> and let's charge this up. I could use a little extra belief. He's going to get us across. We got to go save the bird lady now. And long shot. And long shot. First try. That sounds like a pyramid guy. Oh, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Come on. There. Okay, let's try and take out all the little guys before the pyramid. Otherwise, they cause a ton of pain. There's him down, I think. Okay, we can get the worm. Come on, game. Game, you're focusing on the wrong enemy. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Let's grab some belief. Let's take out this big guy. Come here. Come here. Okay, we'll... We'll, we'll get charged up. Okay, let's zap you. Let's zap you. I don't think I can use my god powers on the big laser guy. Alright, I'm going to let him go because he's currently lasering me in the chest. Come on, let me down. And you build, and you're down. Perfect. Ah, there's bird lady. Okay, bird lady is saved. Let's fill up my feather, and we'll get back to the middle. We gotta rescue the duck pig lady, and we gotta rescue the crossbow lady, too. Once we do that, then we'll have everybody in the main area, and we can defeat the black moon once and for all. Okay, back across the bridge. Right over here, Blacksmith has already made his way back home. Perfect. And we gotta get across this bridge. Okay, Let's see if I timed, I think I did it a bit too early, this might be bad. Because it can chuck you off the edge very easily. And, no, we made it. Skills, pure skill, not luck at all. Don't worry about it. And right across here. Here's Duck Pig Lady. Okay. Let's defeat all the wormies to get the Duck Pig Lady safe and not die again. Hopefully. Okay, I'm pretty hurt right now. I do not like being hurt. Dang it. Okay, we got a laser guy. Pyramid or whatever his name is. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Just just go down. Just Just do it. Okay, last hit. He down. Then where is Duck Pig coming from? Or is that not the last enemy? There might be. No, there's more. There's more. Let's kill the Resurrector before he gets anybody. There. And let's power up the rest of my feather. Let's go this way. We got to rescue Crossbow Lady. I think, right? The duck pig. Yeah, duck pig's right over here. So, yeah, she tells us to go for crossbow. 
And she opens the portal over to Crossbow. Okay. Yep. Nope. Oh, I guess the portal's already open. I thought she had to open it. Here we go. Okay, where are you? Okay, let's break the rock. Then we got to move the dirt pile. There's a little wolf guy there. I don't know what to call these guys. I don't know what the official names of these guys are. They never tell you. It's like narrative. The narrative in this game is left as brief or as like low key as possible. Okay, you sure? Um, okay, I got a George on my lap. This is making things a little bit harder. There, I think that's everybody. Nope, I don't. I don't want to transform. Nope, that's not everybody. Almost everybody though. Okay, let's go break down the door. It's a nice touch, too. If you shoot the purple door, the evil lady laughs at you. It's like all a ton of little interactions here and there that really make the game good. Okay, we'll deposit her. And... Hopefully it lets me... There, lets me out. George is licking my forearm. Okay, so we gotta bring crossbow lady all the way through. So let's pick you up here and we'll set you right there. Make some good progress with that. I like how duck pig lady can just walk right through all of the enemies. <laughs> no cares in the world whatsoever. Okay, here we are. Drop you off there. Okay, come on. There's that. There's you. Go down. Oh, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of... Okay. We're getting powered up for this. Yes. There we go. Let's get out of here. So now we got to drop off Crossbow Lady at the door... At the thing. And we shall go destroy the Black Egg. Here we go. Oop, I think you're not supposed to be able to move, so I'm not actually supposed to be in this position. Oh boy, tendrils of light coming down from the sky. Yeah, I'm supposed to be where the old man was, so they all run into me. Okay. The hands are powered up now. Let's fill up my thing. Let's go take out this black moon one final time. Here we go. And we'll say goodbye to everybody. As we slowly grow into the god that they made us or whatever. I don't know what the actual storyline is. Okay. So we got to take out the purple egg now. Come on. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. There. Okay. Ah, crap the bed. Dang it, <laughs> cat. George on my lap trying to nuzzle everything while I'm trying to play the game. He's like, cat. Okay, come on. Come at me, bro. Okay, he down. Let's keep inching our way towards this. I think somebody pops out over there. Yeah, right here. There it is. Now we got to shoot these eyeballs. There. One more. There. Now let's take a few swipes at this thing. The dark egg. Yes. How did that kill me? Let's keep on trucking through. There we go. Okay. Next one. There we go. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, there's another one. There is. Figured there probably was. 
come on. Hitting its little eyeballs are hard. There's one. Two. Okay, guy's popping out. Come on. Where is there it is. Okay. Take another few swipes at this. Crack the egg a little bit more. One last shot to go. There's another little tendril down. Okay. Alright, where's the next one gonna come at me? There he is. Let's get you. There's him. Yes. Almost done. Almost there. One, this guy we gotta take out one last time. I missed my shot. Missed my shot. Come on. Come on. So close. Game. Aim, don't fail me now. No. Crap. Press the wrong button. All the way back here. Okay. There's that. Yes. Let's keep on inching our way through. There's you. Break you down. And there's that. Yes. A shield upgrade coming in handy. Let's get closer. Come on. Okay, I can't actually swing my sword. I have to hit it with the crossbow. Where is it? Coming out. Let's get you. Come on. Last shot. Come on. Nope. Okay, we'll just uh, take it slow. Make sure we don't get it. Come on. We got this. We got this. I'm hitting so close to this thing. Where is its hitbox? Of course another guy gets me. Which means we gotta do this whole thing over again. There. Alright, this is it. This is it. Last shot. Okay. I think another guy's gonna pop. There it is. I knew you were coming. I think one more guy is going to come. There he is. I knew you was going to happen. Two. Three. Yes. Let's break the egg and save the day. There we go. The black moon is no more. Yes. We have saved the world. But now we can no longer rejoin it because we are now a god. We get to see the fruits of our labor here. As everything slowly drifts away, all the birdies be freed. Come in to save the day. Yes. There goes a thunderstorm bird to break all the crystals. Yes, the resurrecting bird or whatever to rebuild the mountains. Duck pig's still floating in the air, though. There's teleporting birdie to save the duck pig, actually. Right on cue. Fire and dirt bird to put out the fires. Man, it's almost like it never even happened. There they go. Rebuild the temple. 
Duck pigs are still frozen, kind of cute. <laughs> and there is the plant bird, was the first bird we ever saw. Regrows everything. And the heart bird just, I don't know, gives a heart. Because that's what duck pigs do. Yes, they do, just float in the air. But there we are. Yes, we have done it. Black Moon is still in the sky, but very much no longer a threat. So we float off into the distance and see the fruits of our labors. See all the land that we just freed. There's the credits, but yeah, that was Journey of the Gods. It was, I highly recommend it. It is a lot of fun. I do really enjoy it. Like I said, this was the first game, first true VR game I got. So I'd done like some whatever trial games before this. I'd like previews or whatever. Beat Saber 2, but this was like the first adventure game that I got. And it's so much fun to play. I really enjoy it. So I highly recommend you try it. There's a few credits there, but as we scroll through the credits, we have freed the world, we have become a god, and we have done all the things. Got our 100% save there. But anyway, I think this is a good place to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I, I might, I don't think I'll play this game again on stream because there's not much else to do, but I do want, we will be doing the under presents coming up soon so keep your eyes peeled for that i want to come back to risk of rain vr2 so we'll be doing that again as well um but yes this wednesday woodworking stream so i guess bring your tools because it'll be on I, I don't even know what i'm saying bring your woodworking tools because you're gonna need them and your notebooks you're gonna be learning a lot but yeah that's about it for me Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. If not, well, uh, just shout rigged. I, I'll, I might read that. But yeah, we saved the world. Uh, see you all later. Take care.